Aunt Babe's hash cakes have left a bitter taste in the Carter's mouths. Mick and Shirley realise that she supplied Tina and beg Carol not to go to the police. Unfortunately, they soon sharp at the butchers and Mick urgently asks Dean to dump the cannabis. Instead, he stashes it at Blades. A suspicious Shirley goes snooping at Blades and finds the drugs. Dean tells her he and Aunt Babe are partners and Babe blackmails her for her silence. But Shirley's terrified Aunt Babe is going to reveal her big secret to the Carters. Carol goes to copper Charlie Cotton for advice on dealing with the police but makes a surprising discovery about Dot's grandson. On top of that, she has to prepare for a double mastectomy. Liam's anxious to get back in the butcher's good books and turns to Lee for advice, who's only too happy to help when he also sees a chance to woo Whitney. Next we drop into Coronation Street. UN Secretary General Ban Ki-moon would have his hands full with Nick and Leanne, and predictably their attempt at mediation is a disaster. Later Nick sees Gail helping Michael clean up an old ice cream van, not a pleasing sight to his eyes and he quickly has a bust up with him. Steph steps in and almost gets sacked by Nick, who later loses it completely when he sees Gail and Michael kissing and he vandalises the van. Kylie and David return from Barbados and walk straight into the drama, but have their own hands full with Max, whose behaviour is frankly appalling. They get a fine for taking Max out of school, but Kylie refuses to admit her son has a problem when David confronts the issue. She's terrified it's genetic. Roy is tearful when he finds a reminder of Haley in a library book, but he joins Yasmin and others on a sit-in at the library. They're locked in for the night, but she soon upsets Roy with her insensitivity. The protest is a success, however. The council agrees to an appeal, but it's all to no avail when the library is destroyed by a fire. Finally, we visit Emmerdale. Ross is in deep when he's confronted by criminal Gary North, who reveals he attacked Finn and blackmails Ross into another job. Donna plants drugs in North's house, but they've disappeared by the time the police raid him. Later, North threatens little April. Adam finds out Ross was responsible for Finn's attack, but Ross assures him he's now safe. North has what he wants. Megan and Layla's business moves forward, but Charity makes life tough when she demands £10,000 to use Home Farm as a wedding venue. Jay flirts with Layla, who's jealous when Megan shows up. But Jay's unimpressed when Rakesh buys Victoria Cottage. He throws a punch, but hits David. Jay seeks comfort in Layla and is awkward the next day when Megan attempts to seduce him at the office too. Jay and Layla end their fling, but for how long? Adam steals horse tranquilizers from Vanessa and takes some with Robbie. Adam collapses and finishes up in hospital, but later Moira tries tough love and takes him to the place Holly used to score drugs. 